I can just do whatever I want any day. Like I can, that's a good thing. So if I want to make a, a very abstract thing, I can do that. And nobody has to see it, but I just have freedom. I don't have to always be making things with a purpose in mind. I used to feel like, well, I have to kind of um, make a series or like if I make an artist statement, then I have to follow those, follow that artist statement or like, um, but now I don't feel that at all. I feel like if it's out there, it's okay if, if, it, if it comes in and then it comes out through me again and then it's not, there are fewer rules than there used to be in my practice. This print was something, I, a new technique, a new kind of lithograph that I was trying to learn. It's a waterless lithographic technique. It immediately started to fail. So if you look at the print, you'll see that the black parts, which um, the parts that look like they were intentionally drawn were intentionally drawn. But then you'll see there's all a, there's a lot of black that looks uh, a little less intentional, kind of like it's filling in, or um, like a lot of like sort of shading in between things, and all of that is completely accidental, and kind of the signs of a failed, like I failed at the, learning the new process. So I got two or three prints and then it just went completely black. So it was filling in. But I did get some prints that I worked on and this is the only one that survives it. I mono printed on top of it. So it went through the press maybe five or six times. And then I started doing other things to it like the glitter and the collage and just kept working on it. It took me probably six months to actually feel like it was complete and finished. Well, I had been making a lot of dark work, just kind of um, it was dark subject matter. And um, I had sort of told myself, you're done with that. Like, you're not going to make any more like skulls or um, dark stuff that people aren't interested so much in seeing. So I thought, oh, I have to lighten up. But then I made this piece, which is like this heart smack dab in the middle of the composition that's like stabbed through with a tree or a tree branch grew through it. Who knows how it got there? And I thought, oh, I did it again. And then I said, well, why do I have to do, why don't I just do what I want to do and not worry about that? And then the darkness started to dissipate <laughs> immediately because I'd kind of come to this catharsis where I thought, oh, yeah, if I want to sometimes make something dark, I can, but like, I, I don't have to, I don't have to deter, predetermine anything. It opened up a whole new kind of way of thinking about work. So like there was a glitter on that piece and, and collage elements that came out of, um, you know, things that I had around the studio. So, I mean, glitter is kind of like, a, it's kitsch, right? And um, some galleries won't even show work that has glitter on it because it seems like, you know, well, no one's going to take that seriously. <laughs> uh, so, so I thought, well, who cares? 